These are bumper numbers. Congratulations on that. You are delivering on the back of the higher energy prices. Do you believe these kind of profits are set to continue? Good morning, sir. Uh, good morning to you. Yes, uh, uh, we have record earnings uh, this uh, quarter. Uh, to, you know, there is really about the oil and gas prices going forward as well. Uh, but we have been able in the fourth quarter of 2021 to capture the prices by strong operational performance. And that is what we can focus on. And we will focus on that in the next quarters as well. And uh, the outlook for the oil and gas prices, they look uh, very good due to limited supply and uh, a supply crunch going forward. But, uh, you know, there's nothing I can do with oil and gas prices. I focus on making sure that we have strong operational performance. Fascinating conundrum that you and all the other uh, majors um, CEOs are in at the moment as well as what to do with your money. And I've got to be honest, Anders, surely your shareholders, including the majority shareholder, the state of Norway, would prefer you to spend your money on the transition rather than buybacks. Buybacks on a, on a company's shares who have rallied extraordinarily uh, off your lows of 2020, Anders. Yeah, and we are actually also we are investing in a very profitable portfolio. Uh, we have a uh, 3% annual growth in our oil and gas production based on our project portfolio in, in, in the oil and gas, uh, particularly with major projects coming both in our Norwegian business, our international business. We are investing in the renewables. We are investing in Dogabat, the world's biggest floating offshore wind uh, park. We are investing in U.S. in offshore wind in Poland. So we have a very good project portfolio and, and our capex uh, for the, the next year is around 10 billion US dollar. In addition to the investments, we are also uh, handing back uh, some cash to our uh, uh, shareholders to ensure that we can continue investing in the energy transition. And as, can I just pick up on that point? Because uh, you're talking about getting to more than 50% of gross investments in renewables and low carbon uh, solutions by 2030. What does that mean in a market where we have seen some inflated pricing and then a reset on the back of the market route? And of course, a lot of companies try to uh, stampede in that direction. What do you make of market pricing and the ability to scale up in that direction without overpaying for certain assets in the sector? Yeah, you're right. The competition in this market has increased over the last uh, years. We have a value focus and uh, we also have already a lot of these projects in execute, ex execution. That's why we are uh, uh, focusing on making sure that when we bid for new acreage, we have this uh, same value uh, focus and focus on values over uh, uh, volumes. Because of the good pro project portfolio we already do have, we can be patient uh, to grow any, any, any further, but we have already, uh, already two-thirds of our uh, announced uh, portfolio for renewables already accessed. So I feel we are in a very good shape despite very competitive market we do see.